Hello and welcome to my first video tutorial on XHTML and CSS. And in this first video, I want to give you a little introduction to XHTML and CSS. So the first thing I want you to do is to open your browser. And throughout the course, uh, you can use whatever uh, browser you want in your computer, either uh, Chrome, uh, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. Okay. Um, you can open your browser now and um, go to Google and type Wikipedia. Let's go to Wikipedia and let's search for HTML first. So type HTML and here it is. So you can read uh, all this or at least the first paragraphs to see uh, the story of HTML and how it how it was created, um, but basically I can tell you that HTML was created in 1991 by this uh, gentleman here, which is Tim Berners-Lee, and he created um, a code uh, that made possible for us to create web pages on the internet. Okay, and uh, basically it was a very very big thing at the time. So throughout the 90s, uh, everybody was creating web pages using HTML, which was the first version of the code. Um, and then uh, I think 2000 or 2001, a new version appeared, which is XHTML. And it improved a lot of stuff in the code and made possible to uh, create web pages as you see today. If you go to the 90s and see the pages or the web pages you you had in the 90s, it was very very um, very lame web pages and very static. Uh, but with XHTML now we can uh, improve a lot of things. Uh, so XHTML is the new version, uh, and we will uh, learn XHTML in this course. This is the version that we will learn, and you can read all this as well if you want to, the first paragraphs to get uh, more into the uh, story of it. And um, <clears throat> the next thing is uh, the other language we will learn, which is CSS. Now CSS uh, stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And basically, as it says here, is the style sheet language, which uh, we will use to style our uh, web pages. Okay, So CSS we, you can think of CSS as the um, the styling part or the the language that styles your web page, and XHTML will handle the content of your web page. Okay, um, but don't um, don't be scared. Uh, CSS is a very very uh, simple um, simple language. Okay, you will learn it uh, pretty fast. Uh, but we'll get more into CSS later on uh, this chapter. Okay, let's focus on XHTML first. Now, to start coding or creating your first XHTML code, you will need an, a text editor. Now, a text editor uh, for Windows users, uh, the best text editor right now out there is Notepad++. Here. Okay, you can download it here. And for Mac users, uh, if you're a Mac user, you can download either, uh, you can use either TextMate or Text Wrangler. Okay, these two are very, very good text editors for, uh, for the Mac. Um, there are a few other editors, but for me, these are the two main editors, or the best editors for the Mac, and for um, for uh, Windows users, Notepad is the best one, my favorite choice. Of course, you can choose whatever editor you want, but this is my suggestion. Um, now, uh, let me go to Notepad++, uh, because I'm using Windows, and you can choose here, Download, and click here, Installer. Okay, and this is the file you'll get, and 
Um, I already have my Notepad++ installed, so I'm not going to install it again. So you can click this and install your Notepad, okay? Um, after you have installed your Notepad++, you can open it and it should be it should look like this okay okay this is notepad plus plus you have a lot of um, it's a simple editor but very very um, powerful okay and very complete editor you have a lot of uh, support on several programming languages such as C C sharp, C plus plus, Cobol, CSS. We were learning CSS, um, Lisp, JavaScript, Pascal, Perl, PHP. A lot of support. Okay, so it's a very very complete uh, text editor. Now um, I will use this text editor throughout the course, and um, basically this is what you need. Uh, text editor and a browser and you are ready to go okay and in the next video uh, we will learn how to create uh, our first XHTML code okay so if you guys have any questions at all just post your questions uh, down um, below in the comment section and I will answer them as soon as possible and so that is all and see you in the next video bye